माय नेम इज शारमीन मसूरकर आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ एफ वाई बी एस सी कंप्यूटर साइंस इन गुप्ते जुगलेकर कॉलेज रत्नागिरी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी सॉल्व अ रिकरेंस रिलेशन यूजिंग बैक ट्रैकिंग मेथड नाउ वॉट इज बैक ट्रैकिंग मेथड इट इज एन अलगोरथमिक टेक्निक फॉर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम रिकर्सिवली by trying to build a solution incrementally and removing those solution that fails to satisfy the constraints let's move on to the problem we have to solve this recurrence relation using back tracking method and the example is a n equals to 6 a n minus 1 and the value of a 0 is 2 let's start the solution the given recurrence relation is a n equals to 6 a n minus 1 will give it as equation number 1 now over here we have to find the value of a n minus 1 and to find the value of a n minus 1 we have to put n equals to n minus 1 in equation number 1 so by putting n equals to n minus 1 in equation number 1 we get a at the place of n will write n minus 1 that is n minus 1 is equals to 6a at the place of n will write n minus 1 that is n minus 1 minus 1 will remain as it is Minus one and minus one is equals to minus two. Therefore, we get the equation a n minus one is equals to six a n minus two. Here we got the value of a n minus one that is six a n minus two. We have to put this value of a n minus one in equation number one. Therefore. by putting the value of a n minus 1 in equation number 1 we get a n is equals to 6 will remain as it is a n equals to 6 at the place of a n minus 1 we will write 6 a n minus 2 that is 6 a n minus 2 6 into 6 is equals to 6 square therefore we get the equation a n equals to 6 square a n minus 2 will remain as it is we'll give it as equation number 2 now again we have to find the value of a n minus 2 therefore we will put n equals to n minus 2 in equation number 1 rather than in equation number 2 so putting n equals to n minus 2 in equation number 1 we get what we will get is a n minus 2 is equals to 6 a n minus 2 and the remaining minus 1 will be as it is minus 2 and minus 1 is equals to minus 3 therefore the equation will be a n minus 2 is equals to 6 a n minus 3 therefore putting the value of a n minus 2 in equation number 2 we get at the place of a n minus 2 will write 6 a n minus 3 that is a n equals to 6 square into 6 a n minus 3 therefore 6 square into 6 will be equals to 6 cube that is a n equals to 6 cube a n minus 3 we will give it as equation number 3 we have got three equations now we can observe that 
whatever value is in the power of 6 is same over here like 1 1 2 2 3 and 3 as we move further these number will frequently change so we can write i at the place of 3 and therefore we will get the new equation that is an is equals to 6 raised to i a n minus i over here we have given the value of a0 that is 2 now we have to make an arrangement in such a manner that we get a0 instead of a n minus i if we put i equals to n then we'll get a0 as n minus n is equals to 0. Therefore, putting i is equals to n, we will get a n is equals to 6 raised to n a n minus n. n minus n is equals to 0. Therefore, we will get a n is equals to 6 raised to n a 0. And the value of a 0 is 2. Therefore, we will get a n is equals to 6 raised to n into 2. We have to arrange this equation. Therefore, a n is equals to 2 into 6 raised to n. This is the final equation we have got. This is how we solve a recurrence relation using backtracking method. Please do share and subscribe our channel.